welcome to Pastor Beam TV. It's another time where I bring the Word of God to you. Today we're going to be talking about God's faithfulness, His faithfulness and His generosity towards His children. God is faithful. He's a generous God. He is kind. He's wonderful. He is marvelous. There is none compared with Him. So today as we talk about His generosity, about His faithfulness, I want you to give me your rapt attention because you need to know this truth even for the next and higher things of life. God is faithful. God is faithful. Trusting Him and relying on Him is the only way, the only way in achieving this result of attaining God's faithfulness and generosity in a whole new dimension. Because when you know Him, glory to glory, level to level, you would see His generosity, His faithfulness, glory to glory, level to level. God is faithful. He has been so good to me, and I know that He's been good to you. Now, let us dig into His faithfulness, His generosity, to glorify Him, to let Him know that we acknowledge His faithfulness and His kindness towards us. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, Lord, my Father, there is no shadow of Turning with thee, thou changest not, thy compassion they feel not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, awesome is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see all I have me that thy hands have provided great is thy faithfulness Lord unto me great is his faithfulness I testify of his faithfulness and his generosity He's the God of faithfulness to us, man. The Bible says that He, the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible talks about Jesus Christ going about doing good and healing all those that are oppressed. God is good. His word to us in Isaiah chapter 60 portrays how He sets the captives free. He releases people from prison, beauty for ashes, all of joy for money. The song I just said, sang, elaborated that there is no shadow of turning with, with him. His hobby is doing miracles. Signs are wonders he enjoys doing. Great is his faithfulness. His tender mercies are awesome. He doesn't change. He doesn't fail. The, the, his compassion does not fail. It's constant. Lord, you are good, Lord. You are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent. So, if you check our Bibles, 1 Corinthians 10, 12, we will see that the Bible records that despite all, He is with you. Because you might be watching me and you are wondering, what about me? I'll read what the Word of God says for us in Good News Translation. 1 Corinthians 10, 12. It says, every test that you have experienced is the kind that normally comes to people. Is the kind that normally comes to people but God keeps his promise he will not allow you to be tested beyond your power to remain firm he will not allow you to be tested beyond your power to remain firm to remain standing at the time you are put to the test he will give you the strength to endure it and so provide you with a way out. His faithfulness. 
the songwriter says miracle worker promise keeper the light in the darkness he will not leave us as orphans that's what he promised he says i will leave the holy spirit with you god himself the holy signifies the nature but his spirit the one and the same god in the form of a spirit holy spirit god holy holy spirit same as god he says he will leave him to abide with us to guide us into all truths hallelujah so we have a way maker a promise keeper the unfailing god the great provider always by us to guide us to direct us the bible enjoys us in proverbs 3 5 to 6 it says in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path this is we should not lean on our on, on our understanding let the holy spirit guide you that is the way to enjoy his faithfulness that is the way to enjoy his generosity because it's not by power it's not by might by my spirit says the lord by his spirit if you do it by his spirit allowing the holy spirit to guide you you will end well the Bible says, casting our cares upon him, for he cares for us. He's a faithful God. The God full of compassion. So he's with you, according to the scripture I've just read. He will give you the power to stand in, but you must depend on him. You must trust him. The Bible says he will put in perfect peace, whose heart is stayed on him. Isaiah 26 verse 3. I am confident of this very thing, confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you, he shall accomplish it until the day of Jesus Christ. He will not depart from you. He says, I will never forsake you. The song I just said is Philippians 1 6. He will begin it. He said, He will keep you firm. I read for us in 1 Corinthians 10 12 that He will keep you firm. He will be with you, give you the strength to endure and be with you all the way. But wait on God. Let that wait upon the Lord. He renews their strength. The mound on wings as he go. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord. Teach us, Lord, to wait. Let's wait on God. The Bible enjoys us in Psalm 27, verse 12 to wait on him he says wait hallelujah the book of isaiah en 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 enjoys or he says go through go through but the end of the matter is good because he says i have overcome the world be of good cheers as you allow his word to guide you you will definitely testify of his faithfulness because how great is our god sing with me how great is our god all will see our great, they will see He is so great. They will see it, they will witness it, but you must hold on to Jesus. The Bible says the author and perfecter of our faith. I want to read something for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. I'm reading from the NIV now. It says, God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. He is faithful who has called you who has called you as he called you he's faithful he called you into fellowship into union into relationship with his son jesus christ our lord and he will not abandon you hallelujah because he's the one who calls you he perfects everything he starts he finishes it he completes it your way maker the promise keeper light in the darkness through what you think you are going through hallelujah so let the Holy Spirit guide you. Let his word minister to you. Rely and depend on him because it is through reliance and trust in God that you can enjoy this faithfulness and generosity in, 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 a, in, a, in an extraordinary way. Because God is good. Hallelujah. I'll conclude with the book of John. John 15 from verse 20. 6 to 27 i read from the message translation that says when the friend i planned to send you from the father comes the spirit of truth issuing from the father he will confirm everything about me 
you too from your side must give your confirming evidences since you are in this with me from the start. I love this speech that says you must give confirming evidences. I give you confirming evidences that God has been good. He's been good. He's been good. I've seen his hand in diverse ways, doing marvelous things, making a way where there seems to be no way. Doing things I couldn't fathom. Joy unspeakable arousing thereby. I was thinking the second verse of the song I, 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 I started with. It says, Pardon for sin and a peace that endured. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings on mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Awesome is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, your hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is his faithfulness. The Bible says, taste and see how good the Lord is. I have tasted him. He's the friend that will never fail you. He's the friend that will never abandon you. Join in the team that enjoy the Father's faithfulness and his generosity. Because the Bible says, cattle upon a thousand hill belongs to him. He wants to lavish us with his blessing. Ensure that you are connected to the master of masters. Hallelujah. The things of this world will fail. But the word of God remains the same. From everlasting to everlasting, the Bible says he is God. I have tasted the Lord and I know the Lord is good. He has been faithful. He has been glorious. He has been generous. He is more than a friend. He is my heartbeat. He's more than enough. He's more than enough. He's a shelter. He's the God of plenty. The all sufficient God. My God Almighty. You are more than enough. He's proven to me that He's more than enough. He's done marvelous things. I've had wonderful testimonies that I can show and prove that this God is good. Taste him and see he's good. Don't give up, my sister, my brother. Stand in there. Hold on to Jesus. His word is true. They are provable. It will take you far. Thank you for watching today. Stay blessed. It's Pastor Bim TV for you. Bye.